Welcome back to episode 4 of our RimWorld Royalty DLC Let's Play. Um, so last time quite a few things happened and we left it with quite a lot of stuff to do. We were, we we're really getting busy with the throne room and the we've already finished the... What will be the, like, the sort of like the, um, the quarters for any visiting people. I say finished, I mean we've built a wall. We will need fine flooring and stuff like that, just like we've got over here. Fine limestone over here. So we do need maybe... Maybe I'll put sandstone down there, just so we're not using shitloads of the same thing. So let's get some floor, wherever the hell that is. Uh, what did I say? Sandstone. So that needs to be fine, otherwise we won't be able to satisfy requirements and all that. Oh god, there's so much deconstruction to be done. I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Those lads will go away soon. I'm expanding this, because I've decided that this kitchen is too tiny. I just want to make it a bit better. I also think about, I'm, I'm thinking about making this into an actual proper cold room. So if we do put food there, and there should be food there, um, it's not going to go off. Anyway, Bois Bullets does not have a ranged weapon, ironically. So we do need to start thinking about that. Research-wise, nobody's done research at all recently. We're, Bois is currently researching an ARP, but it's going to be a long process before we get to the piano, which is what we kind of need. Elsewhere, well... This is good. I'm turning this into a little, little tiny graveyard that people can come and visit if they want. But yes, we're still yet to build those graves over there. We just need to wait for people to start building and deconstructing now. I'm looking at you, MacLeod. Well, we're just being given a new quest. A uh, quest available. Rewarded battle. Uh-oh. All right. Uh, the Broken Empire is making a request of you. Two, p two groups of pirates from Peter's Frogs has been harassing her caravans. Augustina asks that you send them a challenge message, attracting them to attack and eliminating the threat yourself. The first group of pirates is composed of three drifters and a gunner. Um, Augusta will send two troopers to assist you under your control. You will have to heat, feed and house them, uh, but they may die without consequence. If you accept the pirates, we will accept in three days. Your, your, em your faction relations with the Broken Empire will improve by 42! That's incredibly useful. I mean, the trouble with the Peter's Frogs thing is we've just done a, a monument to them. And we're sort of like halfway through a quest with those, and honestly, we've we've already got the reward for that. So, and to, even if we do bugger up the monument, uh, like wait for fifteen days before destroying it, type thing. Even if that just comes to nothing, I don't think we can go below a hundred minus a hundred goodwill. So this might be worth trying. Uh, we do, the only trouble is we do need um, two troopers to assist you under control. You have to feed and house them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to not do it straight straight away. I'm going to concentrate on trying to get uh, this house stuff up and running. I don't know if troopers really particularly need anything lavish. To the extent that may be, it might be worth just erecting any old shitty house just whilst we wait. Because I mean, this will require all... I mean, this, this is supposed to be just like one room, really. So I don't know. I don't really want to... I mean, we've got two troopers, so we'll definitely need another room. It's just a case of deciding where to put it. We are weirdly running out of space. We can't build here. We can build up here. This may be what we have to do. I might build some like quarters up here. Hang on, what, would, what have I got here? The beauty thing. Um, there, it's more like it. So let's quickly whip up a... Oh, actually, what materials should we make this out of? Limestone. We'll be making some of that. So... I'll attach it to the farm. Um, it, this is not going to be the world's biggest quarters. Actually, having said that, they're bigger than ours. But let's do it to there and to there. Limestone doors and all. And they can have crap wooden floors. Beds. Double bed. That'll do. Hopefully this is all they'll require. I should probably read the quest again, just in case. It just says two troopers. I think that should be fine, then. I think that could be any old garbage people uh, rooms. So, that's fine. And unfortunately, we've got a lot of other stuff that we're supposed to be constructing. And everyone's gone to bed now, so this will have to wait till the morning. Never mind about warm clothes. It's pissing it down, but they're planning a party. Nudie Hands is throwing it. Everyone's going to be very cheerful indeed after this. But everyone's already really happy anyway. Look, there they are, socialising away. Still not destroying the, the walls, as I requested. There's a lot of that sort of stuff not happening at the moment, which I'm most vexed about. I am encouraging them to build this first. This is our priority. 
we will also need lights. So let's bung in the usual. It's just a standing lamp. That goes there. That goes there. Already putting a heater in. And McLeod has built these traps. Finished, finally re bu finished building these traps. I didn't notice that. I do probably need to do something about this. Well, oh. We've got just like an undefended door here. Connish needs treatment. They've really been obviously going for it with the party. Let's just bung up a quick wall while I think about it. Just wooden wall will do. Just block that up. Anyway, what's going on here? It, it might actually be Bois. Who is, um... Oh, yes, it's, it's just gone. I think Bois is still a bit um, hurt from that incident last time. Oh, look! It's Steve! Steve's been... Oh, he's got asthma! Oh, that's right, asthma. Asthma Steve. Steve the asthma lad. I should, therefore, think about copying... Let's, let's, let's build a copy of this... The hospital is obviously going to have to get larger at some point because this is a bit small. I also need to put in the roofs. Roof. So let's be doing that. Let's give. Let's give this here a roof. That to there. That to there. And also that to there. I um, don't know if I need a column there. Um, structure is this column? Probably not, but I'll put one in anyway. Build roof area. That can all be a roof there, so people aren't walking around in the pissing rain, or whatever. I'll also put in some tiling at some point, but I really don't. I, I really want to encourage them to actually build what we've already asked them to build already. Look, McLeod's already getting on with bloody. No, don't don't go that way. This way. Have, have we got enough limestone? Yes, we have. Right, so come on, McLeod. There we go. This is more like it. Both McLeod and Steve getting busy with the build. That's all very nice indeed. So we're almost ready with that. I was going to make, change this workshop. Oh god. Um, I was going to change this workshop around so there's like um, some stone cutters right next to this. Uh, I still might do that, but I've kind of lost interest in that for the time being. We've got a mad gazelle, which needs to be taken care of immediately. Just the one lad. Well, we kind of like... I mean, this is good because we do want to shoot. emin has got some go on the, mo on the go at the moment. She's had an inspiration and she's running around all over the shop. So I think... She alone might be able to deal with the mad gazelle, who... Which way are you coming? It is going... She's, the, the gazelle's going the long way around. Um, this is all not... F okay. I think the gazelle will be probably coming through here. This is still not... No, Nobody's doing any deconstructing at the moment. There's Emin at the moment. I think I'll, I'll get McLeod, actually, just in case. Let's have him as a backup. Here, okay, slow down. <gasps> oh, shit, they're over... Is, oh, yes, that's... that's ooh. Okay, hang on. Fred, get out of the way! Or actually help. <laughs> Can we actually get Fred trained up on attack? Should be doing that. Busy oh busy hands. Let's try. No animals available. Huh. Why can't busy hands release the hounds? Oh don't you shot Fred! God damn it! Useless! Right, who's got a knife? Ironically, busy hands. Come on, let's get stuck in. Oh, come on! No, it's okay. It's fine. They'll both need to heal up now. Oh, we didn't even build the extra bed. And it's also McLeod, the builder, who is... Um, oh, never mind. Steve, the other builder, can quickly build the bed. Otherwise, it's going to be... Um, Emin and McLeod in bed together, which is not good because Emin and Nudie Hands are, of course, married. It could cause scenes of the awkward kind. So long as nobody else wants to go and have a bit of a recovery. I mean, Bois, thankfully, has now recovered completely, and Steve hasn't got his asthma going at the moment. Um, medical bed. So we are. This is definitely a hospital, isn't it? This counts. This counts as a hospital. Apparently not. Or does it? Yeah, whatever. I think, I'm sure it's fine. Uh, where's the room thing? Oh, there we go. Yes, hospital. The cloud is healed. Lab. Workshop. A room. Barn. Kitchen. Prison. Wow, bullets bedroom, etc, etc, really. This needs to be a throne room. Slowly but surely. Very slowly. That's turning into fine flooring. That's not at the moment, and things happening there. In fact, everyone's just gone to bed, so we'll have to wait till the morning for anything else to happen.
Right, I'm forcing the cloud just to finish off these rooms because there's just a couple of extra tiles left. Oh! What are you? Are you a lamp? We haven't actually done the lamps yet. Oh, we need steel! Ooh. There's plenty of steel around to mine out. Not really very local. There's, there's some compact there. There's a little bit of steel here, so let's do that. We, we got rid of all the, the very local stuff. Emin had a bit of a clear out of that at some point. Um, I wish actually we can get it in there as well, but... Hmm. Let's just get that. I also need to, at some point, mine this out. This is the silver. This is the meteorite that landed ages ago. So let's do that. Emin is currently sewing cotton. Oh, cotton! Is it really warm enough already? Well, let's not worry about that. Let's actually start mining, because this does seem to be a bigger priority. They don't like running through the river, unfortunately. I don't think they can. I don't think they're allowed to run down the river, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do about that. Other than think it's fine. I don't, think, I don't think there's any point in trying to add some access, is there? In fact, it works in our favour, because attackers all, all have to go the long way around. Anyway, the roof is built, which is handy. Uh, it's, it is now getting towards... I mean, it's the 6th of April, May. So we are we are having decent um, temperatures at the moment. It's 12 degrees in the daytime and probably not very good at night, but we are definitely not freezing at the moment, which is very nice. Nudie Hand is busy building the stone, which is exactly what we need him to do. We've got so much bits of leather and nonsense. We had a quest involving making dusters, but I think that's historical now. I don't think we can do that. But on the upside, we can now accept that quest... We're basically saying to the Peters Frogs, Piss! <laughs> right, oh, here we go. Already, we have two lads. Where have they gone? Oh my! Hello. <laughs> We've got Nose! Hello, Nose! Dan and Nose. Already, bloody hell! Nose is already getting busy fueling the stove. Oh, lads, you're very helpful. And you look, oh, look at your guns. Oh, my God, get the guns out for the lads. We've got a biocoded assault rifle and a biocoded chain gun. So, eff effectively, these guns uh, are basically married to the people who are carrying them. It's a new thing for the royalty DLC. Only they can wield them, but apparently that might make them better. So, yeah, we've got two temporary new colonists using the new system. Excellent. Okay, so we've got three days, and then the, Pe uh, the Peter's frogs are going to pop by for a chat and a kill. Uh, meanwhile, da Dan. Dan is doing the mining. Well, Dan. Dan, Dan the mining man. Also, news. Can you actually rename them? Oh, you can. Yeah. Well, I'm not going to. <laughs> Don't really see the point. Uh, but they're, they're going to be gone soon, aren't they? Or dead, or something. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Mike, Mike the guinea pig is no longer incapable of um, walking. I'm not saying that out loud because YouTube will probably <laughs> destroy everything if I do that. Naughty on YouTube. Anyway, God, I really, I really wish we didn't have that. I'm going to sell Jelly Bean. I, you know, in the previous episode, I think it was the previous episode, where we sold goats, which was a mistake. We should have sold the guinea pigs. I should have been um, less attached to the guinea pigs. I should have sold anything that doesn't give us milk, basically. I wanted them. I think the goats can give us milk. Not 100% sure about that. But the goats felt like they would be a bit more useful to us, generally. This is not being built, but who cares? And sandstone. We do have plenty of sandstone. We've also got plenty of meats, because I've, do, I've been doing a little bit of hunting. I set off some... I think all the all the does in the area, I, I sent people after. But that, now there's actually a bugger load of new things arrived. Oh, there's donkeys! Now, remember when we, were tried, to, we tried to get donkeys, didn't we? You know what? Maybe I'm going to try and tame them again. I'll get one of each. Not I, I, this. This isn't so we can keep them. I'm going to flog them the first chance I get. But I think it might be a good idea. It might be a, a good source of income. That. And we also got some um, raccoons, some tom nooks um, for us to um, probably kill at some point. Gazelle, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Let's hunt the gazelles. We're getting very close to. Well, we are starting to sow sow the seeds and scatter. Look, we've got cotton. Um, I mean, has been sowing the cotton, which in fact she still is. So we are now finally into the growing season, which is good. We shall, in a certain amount of days, have some food. I think rice will be the first 
to and turn up. Let's have a check. I think it's three days, this. Eh... Uh, <laughs> growing time. Three days, it is indeed, yes. So, um, the 9th or the... Well, once it's actually sowed. So the 9th or the 10th. We'll have, oh, we actually have got one bit of rice, look. Our rice. A single grain is growing. Yeah. I also need to do something about this. Um, oh, yes, I, oh, you're a DM, that's fine. Um, I'm putting in a wall there. The cloud is going for a... Oh, you're hunting gazelle. Hmm. That's the thing about McLeod. Um, he's... I want him to build, but then he tends to go off hunting at the drop of a hat. Which is fine, because you're the only... I mean, Emin and McLeod are the only ones, I think, with guns. We've got some... No, oh, apart from Nose and Dan, who don't count. Can I give them work? I can. Ooh. Well, let's... Let's actually have an investigation, because we can put these guys to use. And possibly researching. Okay, Nose, inevitably, is a fighter. Not very good at research. And Dan is a good shooter, but he's also very good with animals. He's 18 years old, must have grown up on the farm. Childhood soldier's kid, or oh, maybe not. <laughs> yeah. He's um, accustomed to a strict routine and frequent discipline. He's been flogged <laughs> in a cold shower. Was that public school? I don't know. Anyway, let's leave them to it. I was hoping to put them to research, but that's obviously not happening. Steve is back behind the um, the kitchen counter. I need. To, I think I need to start forcing people to do, do some dismantling because this is this, that's just not being done in the hustle and bustle. You see, this thing is Steve and prioritizes cooking, um, which is fine because I've got it set at cook for thirty five meals and then stop. But then he does do some building when he's not doing that. I really do need to give Boire a gun. Um, I'm currently researching. Um, I think I swapped this off camera. Um, I, we, we did the harp, and now I'm currently researching smithering. Um, smith smithering. Smithing. So I should actually start to be able to do um, some basic good uh, weapon forging, which would be very nice indeed. I'd be meaning to get around to doing that, but then I got, got, I got caught up in all this throne room action, which unfortunately is, it turns out to be the slowest process in the world, especially because you know fine, fine tiles are immensely slow to build. I mean, the throne room has to be immense, and these need to be immense, but that's a that's an ongoing work. And, how's this? We haven't actually assigned. Hang on, let's assign... Oh, we can't actually do that with them. Um, what am I doing, anyway? Oh, you see, you have to do it here, don't you? Um, so, Nose and Dan now have those bedrooms. I don't know why I didn't do that automatically. Maybe it does after time, I don't know. But now they have their own wonderful rooms, better than anything that we've got. Maybe Dan, maybe I can, hang on, let's have a look at whether Dan and Nose are very good at constructing type things. Apparently no, they're shit. I'm never quite sure if deconstructing is a a job for the builders or not. Where's Steve? Steve! He looks like he's going to bed. Yeah, maybe we'll have to wait till the morning then. In the meantime, though, we have we are actually getting bulk traders. Maybe we'll get a goose. Oh, a raccoon! There's, there's a person raccoon. <laughs> also, a, a dead lynx. Won't make another Tom Nook reference, don't worry. Ferret. He's the one. Well, again, I, I think it's either Busy Hands or Nudie Hands who are the good, who are our social lad. Yeah, I think it's Busy Hands. Unless Dan and Nose are any good. Oh no, they're they're, they're antisocial. They are. Well, nudie hands. Once more, I will have to. Oh no, sorry, busy hands. I'll have to get you out of bed to do our dirty work. Rare. Oh, they've got kitties. Oh, we can buy a kitty. Also, we we could get rid of them, um, our guinea pigs, because to be honest, who cares? <laughs> buy guinea pigs. You were good while it lasted. I'm tempted to get cats. Goose egg! <gasps> right. Oh, it's unfertilised. Oh. I'll have two eggs. I was hoping to grow geese in the old-fashioned method. We can eat the goose eggs. They can be eaten raw, but it's much better cooked. Oh. There's, we can't do anything with it. We can't fertilise it. We haven't got any goose to hand. Or geese. Mm. So close. Anyway, do we need any warm clothing? No, we do not. And also, it's really expensive. We've got plenty of cash, especially if we mine out that silver. Other than that, there's not a huge amount we can do. I was just so tempted to get a couple of cats. Wouldn't 
managed to have a couple of cats around the place. I could always flog them again. Another quest! The terrifying chinchillas! Pause. Uh, a duchess is bored. Um, she wants to observe how backwards people like you deal with a deadly threat. To satisfy her desire, her servants will re release a pack of 14 man-hunting chinchillas to attack you. The Duchess will observe the fight via high-altitude drone. <laughs> uh, this is the Hunger Games, only chinchillas. <laughs> or something. Okay, so what she'll do is send us 2,000 quid's worth of stuff. Uh, a sci focus staff and a sci focus shirt. I think this. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Limit will send four champions to assist you. You have to feed and house them again, but they may die in battle without consequence. Now, as much as I really want to do this, that would require me to um, build four houses? Okay, I've thought about it. <laughs> and I've decided to accept it because we don't think we, did, we don't need to put them up. And because the, um, <laughs> the 14 manhunting chinchillas are going to arrive in three hours. We've got eight royal favour. What do you mean? I've, I've got, got to accept with someone. Oh, I see, oh, I know. I yes, because whoever whoever I choose will actually get the the royal favour. I'll give it to Steve. Right. Holy, holy shit! I think we're going to get another bunch of lads. Are they going to? Where, where are they? Where have they gone? Have they arrived yet? Oh, there they come. Oh, they're well done, well done for arriving in, in my bloody stockpile zone. And also destroying my stockpile zone. Ooh! Ooh! You flippers. You flipping flippers. Apparently you can make a... Sh um, now, you can uh, since the recent update, you can actually make a shuttle landing pad. Um, somewhere. I have no idea where that's going to be. Maybe in a misc. I can make a bloody... I can already make the comms console. I really need to get around to doing that. Oh, ship landing beacon. Marks the corner of a landing area. Four of these place to the corner. Nine by nine. Minimum nine of nine. Creates a landing pad. Ooh, okay. Okay, I'll get onto that at some point. In the meantime, they've landed there, which is really irritating. I've got Moo. Moo, Trisha, Bubka and Lars, dude. And I can also reuse Nose and Dan, who are like already in in situ, ready for the, the big fight later on. So we've, we've basically got six expendable lads, all very, very well armed. And I can actually um, draft them all as well. So I can, they're under my control. Um, it strikes me what I should do is make sure that... Well, it's good that everyone's actually asleep. Also, I don't know, I'm, not gonna have, I'm not sure what's going to happen here. And there's poor old Mike and Nympho. Um, they're, they're not us anymore. Meanwhile, Trista is actually helping out build the throne room. That was convenient. So I don't know where the um, the chinchillas are going to come from. If it's going to be f from that side, or basically from that side, which is the only, seemingly the only place that w people will ever come. That's been sealed up from earlier. And we've got six six lads versus 14 chinchillas. So six lads plus Eminem and McLeod. I'll probably get nudie hands and busy hands involved. Steve and Bois. Actually, Bois's got a knife. So I think Bois is literally the only... Even though Bois is actually really good at shoot. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on. Bois is 10 good at shooting. He's actually the best shooter and he hasn't got a gun. I think McLeod... I'm going to actually give um, Bois McLeod's gun. McLeod is no longer going to be a hunter or a shooter or whatever. That seems to be the way forward. Even though you're quite good. As soon as we get a new gun, we'll do that. So, wake up. Go to there. And drop your gun. Bois, equip it. Right. Here they are, the, the manhunters. They're coming in from the right. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I've lost my base. There it is. So they'll be... Oh my god, that's close. So, we'll need them to... I think they'll be coming in via the traps, which is good. So, the cloud is now... Um, going to be doing whatever McLeod does. Right, all you lads, you're going to come to here. Very quickly, please. Where are they all? Oh shit, they're over there. They're coming the very long way around. There's a bear there. 
Where are they all? <gasps> they could be in that way! Including... Shit. Thankfully... Oh my god, they're cute. <laughs> they're evil cute. Thankfully, all these lads are also getting ready with the... This is going to be a bloody massacre. Steve, what are you doing? You're literally going to... I'm going to... Hmm. Anyone who isn't involved in this, I'm going to draft and put inside. Bois is... Needs to get involved. You go there, actually. Um, busy hands. I'll put you there. Oh, this is just vicious. Oh, the kitty! We hard... Oh, the cat's already killed the chinchilla, though. I don't know what... This is just... Jesus, wept. We haven't even got involved yet. Okay, we have now. Mike... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I wasn't meant to say that. Um, <laughs> I'll have to beep that. Um, where is that? Three, 30, 34 minutes into the footage. Um, okay, I'll have to remember to bleep that. <laughs> Ducks and you finally got me. Ugh. Is that it? Things are happening. Oh yes, we got the stuff. Okay, shit loads of stuff happened there. Um, that just was just chaos because it was all... It was all the. Um, it was mainly the, uh, the the traders who fought them, and then it was also our um, really cool lads, who. Oh, hang on, we've lost two lads. Oh no, we haven't. We've lost four lads, but that's okay. Those those four lads were the ones who were c came to help with the shooting. So it's yeah, nose. We're back down to having nose and Dan. That's fine. Right. Okay. So pods have arrived. We've got those. Yes, that's fine. Title rewards. To honour Steve advancing to the title of Yeoman, the Broken Empire has sent him the following rewards. Psychic Amplifier. Fine. So Steve the Yeoman. He is allowed to use a Psychic Amplifier. Oh, is it? Oh! Also, this title will be inherited by Busy Hands. For some reason. A new hire can be chosen by contacting the Broken Empire through a comms console. Which we need to build. Yes, I said that earlier. So Steve... Can, is Steve the Yeoman... Also, Freeholder. Did he just get two in a row or something? Right, how does this work? A yeoman in the Broken Empire. Wow, Steve is going up in the world. So what does that mean in in, in real terms? So he's a Freeholder, so he can f hold Freeze. I'm not sure that has, that's how that works. Right, so what was, what was the thing? It was a psych-focused staff he can get? Anyway, I think I need to make sure that people are not drafted anymore, so they can do their own thing. Sorry, so much has happened all in one go. The traders very conveniently helped out. Did our cat survive? Do we still have the cats? Yes, our cats have indeed survived. Uh, we need to actually... Um, we've got so few animals now. We've got the warg, who isn't even restricted to the farm. And we've got Jellybean, who is... And we've got the two cats, who honestly, I'm not going to restrict to the farm. The farm, I think I'm going to deprecate somewhat, until we've actually got some some good farm animals again. I say I'm trying to tame those donkeys, so maybe they'll lead, um, lead the charge back into whole, the whole farm nonsense. Anyway, everyone's now bleeding all over our floor. We don't even know these guys, and they're just bleeding all, all over the floor. And meanwhile, look, chinchilla skin is being created. And we've got all the meats in the world as well. All the chinchilla meats. Has to be said, though, they were very cute. And very murderous. They were murder cute, I think it's known as. There's an unconscious one there. Um, busy hands. We could rescue it. What happens if we rescue it? What happens then? I'm intrigued. All the others can bloody die. <laughs> but maybe there's, maybe something good. Maybe a, maybe a rose can be planted on the battlefield and it will grow and bring beauty to future generations, metaphorically speaking, or something. So the music is very inspirational at this point. It's very <laughs> it's very cautiously optimistic and everything. Practically Disney-esque. Anyway, so that was um, our first example of one of our lads being promoted from the Empire. We have Steve the Omen, and very soon we shall have Steve the King! King Steve, all hail. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, okay, so next next time we, I guess, have to fight off 
um, a bit more of a, a severe threat of the, um, the the Peter's frogs will be coming to join us, and Nose and Dan can be seriously, um, properly put to the test. Um, good, good stuff. Thanks for watching. Do subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. I'm sure if you're watching this, you already are, um, and all the usual things as well. Uh, bye for now.